Hi everyone, it's Kylie from Paint Wing. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to paint this owl with watercolors. I'll have the materials listed in the description of the video. Now let's get started painting. I'm going to start off by painting the eyes of the owl. For the eyes, I'm starting off with cadmium orange paint and a small brown brush. I'm going to be using a wet on dry technique for this part. I'm only adding the cadmium orange to the lower portion of the eye. For the top, I'm going to be using Indian Red by Daniel Smith. I'm also going to be adding some Indian Red to the outside diameter of the eye. I'm going to allow this paint to dry before painting the pupil. While this area dries, I'm going to be doing the same thing to the other eye. After adding the Indian Red paint, I'm going to blend the two colors together. You can add a little water to your brush to help blend the colors. The next color I'm going to be adding to the eyes is Payne's Gray. I'm using a small 3 over 0 brown brush to add this color to the outside diameter of the eye. Again, I'm using a wet on dry technique, and I'm also not using a lot of water so the paint stays really saturated. Now I'll do the same thing to the other eye. For the pupil, I'm also going to be using Payne's Gray. You'll notice I'm leaving a little white spot. This will be for the highlight of the eye. Now I'm going to fill in the pupil. You'll notice the gray is a little lighter while I fill it in. And then I'll do the same thing to the other eye. For the next step, I'm going to be using raw umber. I dilute this brown paint so it appears lighter. And I'm going to add a very light layer of this paint to the area around the eyes and the beak. Here's that layer once it's dry. For the area on top of the head, I'm going to be using a wet on wet technique. I'm going to first apply some clean water, and then using a smaller paintbrush, I'm going to be dabbing in some yellow ochre. And then I'm going to blend things a little using a larger round brush. And then I'm going to dip in some brown paint while the wash is still wet. I'm just sort of poking my brush in the wash. And then I'm going to add some dabs of Payne's Gray. I'm adding all of these colors while the wash is still wet.
And then, instead of dots, I'm going to be painting some lines with my paint gray. And then I'll also be creating lines with my brown paint. I'm going to continue adding dabs of paint. I'll be going back and forth between using brown and Payne's gray. I'm just going to continue adding more colors. You'll notice that they soften and become lighter in the wash. And then some brown. And then back to black. I'm adding some yellow ochre over here onto the ear tufts. And while my wash is still lightly damp, I'm adding some more dots of gray. And then for the tufts on top of the owl's head, I'm just going to be using a larger round brush. This here is a number 10. And I'm going to create some marks using Payne's Gray. After the wash dries, I'm going to be using a small round brush to create some details. And then I'm going to create some small hair marks around the eye and the beak of the owl. For this painting, I'm using both wet on wet and wet on dry techniques. I'm using the wet on dry techniques for more of the details and harsh edges. And then I'll be using wet on wet to create a soft appearance. And I'll also be using this technique for more abstract parts later. Now I'm going to be working on the pattern around the outside of the owl's eyes. I'm going to begin by adding a diluted amount of brown paint. I'm using raw umber, but you can use whatever brown you have on hand. And my cat wants attention right now. While the light wash of brown I just added is still wet, I'm going to be adding some thin lines of raw umber. This time I'm using a saturated amount of paint. I'm going to be adding thin arched lines to the wash. I'm also going to be adding some orange lines. And then I'll repeat these steps on the other side. The next color I'm going to add is Payne's Gray. I'm adding thin lines into the wash of this. There's quite a bit of gray around the owl's eye over here. And then I'm going to softly blend things with a wet brush. And then I'm going to start adding a light wash around the owl's face over here. I'm starting off by using a diluted amount of Payne's Gray, and then I'll use a diluted amount of raw umber. And then using a wet on wet technique again, I'm going to dab in some wet paint into the wash. I'm going to start off by adding raw umber. And then some gray.
The other side of the owl's face is a little different. There are some orange and brown feathers sticking off the side of the face. So I'm going to add some marks representing those. More diluted brown paint below the face. And then I'll connect these two washes using a light gray paint. After creating a wash with light orange paint, I'm going to be using some Payne's Gray to create some feather marks. I'm pulling my brush in an upward motion into the wash. I'm going to create more feather marks using a mixture of cadmium orange and burnt sienna. I'm using a wet on dry technique for this. I'm using a variety of brush sizes in order to create different size feathers. The shape of your brush will also change the shape of your feather marks. Now I'm going to create some feather marks using raw umber and then Payne's Gray. Using a small round brush and Payne's Gray paint, I'm creating out some little lines over here. After the wash dries, I will use a wet on dry technique to create feathers around the owl's beak. And then I'm going to layer some more feather marks on top of the wash. And using a darker color, I'm going to layer some more lines here as well. After adding a light layer of water, I'm going to dab in some raw umber right here.
For this layer of lines, I'm using Payne's Gray. The last thing I'm going to do on this painting is add some more lines down here, and then things are complete. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. If you decide to paint this piece and share it online, please remember to credit me in the caption or tag me at painted underscore wing. I will also have a drawing template available for this painting on my Patreon account. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day and have fun painting.